my home starts to look like a museum, a never ending adventure. Yeah, anyways, uh, I like to put up some nice arty bike pictures here on this wall. So I think it's gonna match quite good under my own build vintage bike that I got here. I'm kind of proud of it because it's so good. Um, so I need to remove some stuff. These disco balls, I don't know why they are there. So yeah, I gotta remove all this stuff and put up some nice arty pictures here. So yeah, let's jump into the to the photo session. Let's go. Hi guys, I'm Leon. I'm here in my storage room today. Yeah, what I'm doing in my storage room? Well, I'm gonna try to take some arty pictures of my fantastic and fabulous bike i think you also got one fabulous bike too so maybe you want to have like cool photos of it not like just a bike on on a picture that you put up on the wall but you know like more cool cool arty cool so that's why i brought you here into my storage room and i also think this backdrop is kind of cool but the light is shitty so that's why i'm look shitty well I'm more like more shitty than i used to look like but to do this i need some some equipment um first of all the camera well this is the camera with the macro lens but you can use whatever camera you like to use it's it's not about the camera it's about you and the right angles and, and also use this one the dry washer i think it's called waterless wash yeah for makov works really good uh, and it's good to have like clean parts even taking pictures of it you can use whatever i'm not sponsored anyway but i think this one is good and it also tastes good i want to have it like a deodorant or you know perfume for the saturdays but uh well you know go out and smell muck off i don't know if that is really the idea of a saturday night but the idea with this one is that you can just spray it on and wipe it off and you're good to go but one thing i would say about that be careful because if they're too dirty and you put this on and you just rub it away well you're gonna scratch your bike so yeah be careful with this one but it's, it's good it works all right let's jump into it so here we are it's the fork the beautiful fox fork and uh, well it's kind of dirty here and we also got the brakes here so we need to be careful so we not spit this on on the brakes because maybe you will end up in the forest when you try to hit the brakes i think it's silicon on this one so it's not good to have on the brakes so we do like that to cover it just a little bit and then you you wipe it clean you see it really works if you want to wipe off the rotor you can use alcohol that's also good for this purpose but this makes it a little bit more shiny because of the silicone that's in it and that's not good for the brakes so be careful with the brakes so what you can do is just put a little spray here on the more sensitive parts and just apply it on and rub it away what I'm using is this one. This is very handy. I'm not sponsored by this one either, but it's really handy. It's a little LED light. It's really cool. Got some scratches here, some battle scarves, but you know, that's that's how it works. A totally scratch-free mountain bike have not lived a good life. I can tell that. The billion dollar shot. Okay guys, here we are back in Lightroom. 81 pictures. Well, that's kind of good. Uh, so I went through them and 81 became 23. And out of those 23, it's four. That's how life is, <laughs> apparently today. Uh, so what I was out for um, was to have those pictures that had something that was a little bit more arty kind of stuff I, I don't want to have like clear pictures of the bike that's boring this is art this is this um, pictures will sit in my um, room where I got all the bikes and you know yeah my my man cave sort of speaking that's where I'm gonna have those um, pictures so that's why I want to have them kind of arty so they are very 
low key. All of them. I like that. I want to keep them low key. But we need to do some adjustments to make it better. Um, so I'm going to push up the exposure a little bit. And down a little bit with the blacks and up with the shadows. And also going to do the curves. Crush the blacks. So I want to have the cinematic look of it. See? And lift the top a little bit. So you get a little bit more kick in the area here. And if I lift the whites, should affect that area. Yes. And also the shadows should be lifted as well. So you see something, so it's not just a black spot. Because when you're going to print this, it's going to be a little bit more darker than it appears on my screen. That's a thing you should keep attention to. Because if, if you know your printer well, and you know if you're sending in like a clear picture, it looks clear on your screen, but when you get it on paper, it looks very low key, you should ask for the color profile so you can adjust your pictures to their profile so it turns out to be right. The things that you see on your screen will be the same on the paper. So that's kind of important, but it can ruin your, your picture totally if you don't know what you're sending. This is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna boost the warm a little bit. I like warm tones, you know, that's, that's my thing. And um, down with the down with the greens. There ain't no greens, but if there were, and up with the red a little bit. I want to have some orange in here. You can see down to the left corner. You can see it blinks there. It's the orange. So it's nice to have some color flick into it, even if this is pretty much black and white, really. But if I boost this one it will have some flick in it and that makes the picture interesting this is the the front brake actually i think yeah it is the front brake but it looks kind of cool i can also do a little bit clarity to it so we get a little bit more clarity here and now what you're thinking that oh it spots here well we're gonna clean it up in photoshop that takes forever, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna clean up most of them. You can do it in Lightroom too, but it's not good. I can show you. It, it will not be um, that that good. Sometimes the cops is like random. You see the spot is still there. So it's, it's not it's not awesome. Much better in Photoshop. So yes, I think we are done here. There's not much I can do about it. I don't want to put so much sharpness to it. We can do that. Um, boost the blues a little bit and the reds down to there. I think that one is cool. It's gonna look cool in print. All right, let's jump to the next one. Let's see what we got here. This one is kind of interesting. I like it because you see the float and you see the FSR here. That's a rear suspension. Um, I like this one. It's a super cool picture actually. You. You are like, well, it's kind of black and some kind of white stripes around it. That's art, man. That's that's the art thing. But we're going to boost this one up. We're going to get So the white area you see here. Why do we have this? The white area you, s you see here is the, actually the frame. The frame is unsharp. So, yeah, looks through it. Kind of distortion. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna boost this one up a little bit because it's too dark, way too dark. And I also wanna see some texture here. Otherwise you can just do a, a stripe and type float on it. I mean we're doing art here, but hey. It can be kind of decent. And we crush the black. So you get that vibe into it. Uh, because I don't want it to have super sharp. It's uh, it's not what I'm out for here. This is will be just a you know like a dreamy picture. The funny thing is that you have this one in focus here, and you also have this one in focus. It's like the same. Anyways, scroll down. 
see we get blue and we also get red um, we're gonna make the red pop a little bit so you see it's there something red there maybe I put on a mask there you go and we get masked cool to have something that interests your eye when you're looking at the picture uh, me personally I think it's more fun to have like a picture that you need to have like a closer look at like hmm wonder what part this is or how did he took this one instead of just a, a bike straight up um, I mean it's fun to play with people's illusions that's better okay. that's the meaning with art you don't tell them what to see they need to see what they see that's the thing with it deep huh a little bit too cold you can put a little more warmer tone into it like that so it matches the other one so you get the same kind of style see and here we get this one I think this is awesome because it's greasy here on looks used I mean I think it's beautiful and bikes looks used my bike looks a little bit too shiny to be honest it should have more scars the scarves on my my uh, my bike is it's not so much it's like two or three the scars on my enduro bike is so low that it looks brand new and I don't think it's nice I like to use bikes it's beautiful it was the same with sneakers when I was a kid I got new sneakers I jumped just straight into the sandbox with them to make them dirty now I did exactly the same procedure I boost up the exposure a little bit and I crushed the blacks and um, I put on a little bit of clarity because I think here it's nice to to have it a little bit more clear and also pumped up this dark area here so you have some kind of texture here so it appears more interesting and we're gonna change the, the white balance a little bit so it again matches the other two I actually only need two pictures and they're not like super cheap to make either so uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go for free I really it would be nice to have free but maybe free or two uh, put on some sharpening so make this shine a little bit what does sharpening actually do it boosts up those highlight pixels so here the white here is is white pixels right and that one the dark so when you sharpen the picture you don't actually make it sharp it's just an illusion of sharpness what you do is you're boosting up those uh, white pixels that's what's happened so when you say you, you can never make a picture sharp it's just an illusion of sharpness it's as sharp as it is from the camera but you can boost up certain things that it gives an illusion of sharpness but it's still not sharp and I mean an unsharp picture is really hard to to make sharp you I mean, basically you can't you need to have everything in focus if you would like to but when you're doing art it's, it's more nice to have it out of focus lots of times again the illusion the illusion all right this one is also done and last one, I am Leon is here. So nice. That's the best logo. It's like the fuck off Nikon. The story behind this logo is when I was traveling, everyone was asking, "What's your name? What's your name?" And I always said, "I'm Leon. I'm Leon. I'm Leon." So people thought that I am Leon was my name. So I started to use I'm Leon, but the logo was because I was working with Nikon back in the days. That's the reason for it, but not anymore. I'm a free spirit now. That's nice. I can rant things. You see the unsharpness here is beautiful. This is because of the macro lens is so sharp. So, so round, nice, super nice. I mean, I want to cut this, but I don't know if I think it can look cool like that I can do that for hours sit and uh, you know cut it up 
try new stuff like huh this was not the right thing uh the better the original or should i do a little bit more of this and that and then i'm after a while it's like three hours went away just to see this the right cut for it you can do that you will fall asleep waiting for me to the final results and we crush the blacks but i think it's a little bit too dark you see should be more like that this is a super cool picture actually. Oh uh, no. This should be fine tuned. Photoshop. Because I wrapped up my bike in plastic to protect it. And um, that's. It's not like the best looking for a bike to have, but it really saves your stuff. You don't want. It saves you from like deep scratches. Even if uh, scars is nice on a bike, but you don't want to have like a deep scratch into your carbon. It's, it's not good. So use uh, protection tape if you if you can. That's just a suggestion. It's really up to you. I think I should um, light up the logo a little bit, not much, but a little. I don't know where those stripes come from. It's just some distortion somewhere, but it looks cool. All right, that's it so now i got four finished pic uh, pictures here uh, that one oh, now you can see it's a little bit too dark so i can boost it up a little bit more there you go and we got that one also a little bit too dark give it a little bit more of a boost, boost. Uh, it's always a fiddle with this Because when you, when you print black, it is kind of hard to to see some kind of shapes into the blacks. It's usually just a big black spot that comes out of the printer. Um, so you really need to be aware to make, don't make it too deep black because it will not look good at the end printing. All right, guys, now we are finished here with uh, four pictures. And I'm gonna do some after tweaking in Photoshop to take away some spots and stuff. And then I'm gonna send it to the printing company. Uh, and I don't know which one it will be that will uh, land on my wall, but I really like this one. This says so much, you know, like a used chain and yeah, this is, feels so nice. At the same time, this is kind of cool as well, and um, I like this as well. Uh, I think could be nice. All right, uh, let's see, and I'm gonna show you on my video which one I chose for. Like, all right, guys, here we have the final result: the prints from the edit I made in Lightroom, and also from the photo shoot I had out in my storage room. So here it is, but I will not open it yet. I will keep you hanging there for, for like a couple of minutes or so. So I'm gonna frame this up and, uh, or frame it in or yeah, frame it out or frame it just. And put it back on my wall here. And yeah, I hope it will look sweet. Let's see. Oops, there it goes. See you. And now I need to deal with this randomness. Oh, trash. Now I'm finished. I'm, I'm here in front of my artwork. You can see, see the S here. The S stands for super art. Specialized super art. That's, that's nice. Nice. All right, guys, you also have a nice bike. I, I don't doubt that at all. You can also take cool pictures of it like I did. You just go there with your little camera, sneak into it, take a, like, a close up, and you can create whatever you like to in Lightroom or Photoshop like I did. And the, the result is awesome and it doesn't cost so much to print it out. So it's totally worth it. Besides that for me, in life of Leon world, uh, I need to reassemble, assemble, reassemble, and assemble the frames because I put it backwards and, you know, forget stuff. And yeah, that's me. That's, that's, that's how I roll. But with that said, you can also download my pictures here in the description. And if you like to use them, I'm honored so. With that said, I'm Leon, subscribe and like to my channel, see you next time, 
Also, don't forget to jump into my Instagram. I know the banner was here, but it's it's easy to forget about it. It's I am Leon official Instagram. You can go there and I check it out to say hi or stuff like that because I post funny stuff there. All right. With that said, peace, love, respect, arrivederci, ciao. I'm Leon out. Thank <laughs> you.